Swimoutlet.com delivers the best online shopping experience. With an extensive selection and the lowest prices, you're guaranteed to find the product you need. Here's what you get. Free shipping on all orders over $49. Free one to two day shipping on all orders over $99. All orders placed by 6 p.m. ship out the same day. Shop at Swimoutlet.com, the web's most popular swim shop. Is that the best for this time of year? Yeah, it's my best uh, in season swim ever. Short course meters, what, what's your time, 200 fly? Uh, sh short course? Short course meters. Uh, 151. And that is the? That, that's the American record. He's the American record holder. <laughs> uh, there you go. Davis Tarwater has come a long way since the 2008 Olympic trials when he got third place in the 200 butterfly. A surprise upset for a man who trained at that time with Michael Phelps at the University of Michigan. I understand. In my last Olympic trials, I got third, missing the Olympic team by one place. It feels like death. Davis is a friend with great parents. Parents carry a heavy burden when their kids are living for the Olympic dream. And I asked Davis about his parents and how they felt about his return. You know, I think in all honesty, they were kind of reluctant because they knew that in order for me to go through this process again, I was gonna to have to put myself all the way out there. And uh, I was gonna to have to be willing to feel that pain again. And I think that they took it pretty hard when I got third in 2008. And I think there was a side of them that said, let's just, you know, let's just do the next thing together. And uh, I can't tell you how supportive they've been. And this whole effort, this whole journey has been so redemptive, uh, not only for me, but for I think my parents too to some extent and, and our relationship. Davis was slow to return to the sport after his last 2008 race. He told many of us that swimming for him was over. He had other aspirations. I took a little over a year off. Uh, I this went to grad school at the University of Oxford and got my master's degree. Was pretty much done. Mm -hmm. And I was really invigorated by my studies and thought, mm -hmm. you know, so I wanted to get go to grad school and I thought, you know, this is when I need to do it. And uh, I, um, I was ready to go change the world. But swimming wouldn't let him go, and he returned to the pool deck October 2010, nearly 35 pounds overweight. It's, it was all in my gut, too. I mean, it was just... <laughs> uh, and chicken legs, gut. Davis Tarwater now is one of the most respected swimmers in the sport, a threat in three to four events at the U.S. Olympic trials, and could swim as many as four to five events at the Olympic Games in London. Having so many options, poses new challenges. Yeah, I'm definitely struggling with the choices. Something's gotta go. Um, I have kind of an idea of what may go, but probably not gonna verbalize that just yet. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> but, uh, you know, some of it is gonna be uh, gathering information at the meet. You know, I can't, there's no way to know, but I can assure you one of the cuts is either the 100 or 200 free. You know, both flies are in play and they're my two best events. The big question is, after his disappointment in 2008 in the 200 butterfly, was it his plan to have several shots to make the 2012 Olympic team? Uh, you know what? What I was thinking when I made my comeback was, uh, I'm never gonna swim the 200 fly again. So I've gotta do something else. You know, I was bitter towards the event. I don't wanna do it. And, uh, you know, as I went through this process and Coach Marsh, uh, you know, evaluated me and was training me in a certain way. He helped me believe again uh, that, you know, that I'm a great tuner flyer. And it's kind of been by accident that I've come back to the tuner fly, but also that I've diversified my workload because it was a more calculated effort of if I'm going to do this, I just, I don't want to swim tuner fly. And, uh, and at this moment, I've never been more fearless of the event.